Before we move on though, there's one thing that I've, I've really wanted to do for a while now. And I think right now is the perfect time to do it. We are not ready for the cold, that's for sure. I think we're ready to install. Let's do it. Let's do it. The strut is all welded on. It's just one little thing that's bothering me. And at this weld right here, it's the strut is bent down. That's probably partially due to the heat from the weld. Um, you can't really tell from right there, but if you go over here, Ethan, back up. You can kind of see it's dipping down. So I've got the chain out. And I've got a crazy idea. Hopefully we don't screw anything up. crack right in the middle right there which is you know where the basically right where the joint is and I was curious how well these would hold up because normally you'd put a plate here and weld all around it but I kind of skipped that part but this tells me it's just these welds are plenty strong enough to hold solar panels and it bent it did bend it up to where it might be a smidge high now actually so i'll have to run another bead on that it would be good to go all right back in business We've got a new bead on nice and cleaned up ready to get the paint the strut is on the racking, Natalie has been going at it with uh, the wire wheel and um, getting all the um, welding junk. What do you call that stuff? The impurities off and then putting on the paint. I can never remember the name of it. It's called this stuff. Angle iron. No, the stuff that's on the angle iron. What the heck is it? Oh my gosh. Gal okay. It's got the galvan <laughs> we got the galvanized paint going on. She's already done most of this side. And uh, we'll continue on that way. Before we move on though, there's one thing that I've I've really wanted to do for a while now. And I think right now is the perfect time to do it. today and it's a little brisk and windy it's a big reminder that the cold is coming we are not ready for the cold that's for sure Jacob woke up this morning and was like where's my sweats I'm like I have no idea so we are not ready we are ready to get this solar system buttoned up it has taken it's amazing how long everything takes I guess you could say like everyone always says it takes longer than you think so we, you know, had an idea of what we thought it would take. And then we, you know, thought longer than that to give us more time. And here we still are. We've been out here for three and a half months. And 
we thought we would have had our solar system set up like two months ago. So it takes way longer than you think it should take, especially when it's just the two of us working on it. Moving out to raw land, there's a lot of little pieces that you don't really take into account. Like when the rains came for the monsoon season and the mud was just terrible, it was like, we kind of just have to take care of this. While it wasn't one of our top list priorities before we moved, you know, like it wasn't even on our radar. It was just one of those things that was like, we just got to do it. We got to, we can't live in this mud. So we did the gravel, you know, and that took a couple weeks of our time. So yeah, moving out to raw land, there's a lot of things that you don't think of that just pop up and you're like, well, you just got to take care of it as they come. So here we are three and a half months in and we're still not done with the solar system. But Jacob is in town. That's the other thing that you forget. A, it's hard to be on top of everything. We ran out of gas for the generator. So he has to go into town so we can keep moving forward. So he's back in town this morning. I'm going to finish up the wire brushing for these welds and get them painted. And hopefully, we are hoping we start putting solar panels on today so we can move on and start preparing for this cold weather that's coming. I have finished wire brushing and spray painting all of the welds. Hopefully there will be no rust on this stand ever. <laughs> Jacob is in the back. He's working on those square washers. And after that, we'll put the panels on. We made our own washers, okay? Normally the washers are square, but we made some rectangular ones. We made some L-shaped ones. These are for the outside edges. The reason we made our own washers is because they are insanely priced. <laughs> so I said, forget that. We're gonna make our own. We got our own steel. It's just a square washer, so, so that's that. I think we're ready to install. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom, baby. We're done for the day putting up solar panels. Natalie's making dinner and uh, I dare not do this by myself putting up these panels they're big and awkward so I came up with the idea I want to see what some of the voltage is on these panels we're gonna see what they're putting out so if you see here this side is still getting hit by the Sun it's just after 530 right now and this side is already in the shade and these are 40 volt panels so we're gonna check the voltage on one of these ones where it's getting hit by the Sun all the way and we're gonna check one here that's in the shade but the sun is still up so they are getting light but not direct light and keep in mind the angle of the sun right now isn't even hitting these directly 
and, and I've already checked the voltages and I was kind of surprised at what they're producing. So let's, let's check it out. So I'm negative, negative, positive, positive. Let me see, Kenzie, tilt it. And it says 36.1 volts DC. That's pretty cool. It's a 40 volt panel. The sun's going to be down in an hour to an hour and a half. And we're still getting a pretty good amount of power on this side. So let's go check the other side. All right, it's looking like 32.5.6 volts. And the sun's not even hitting them. They're, they're in the shade. So that's pretty impressive. I can't wait to get this all hooked up and be able to monitor how much each side is putting out. Because the way we have it set up right now is this side will be on one charge controller all by itself. And then this side will be on another charge controller all by itself. So we'll be able to definitely see the difference um, in the output. So pretty exciting. We got 16 panels up last night and we got 14 left to go. So we're going to get started and finish this morning. This afternoon. This morning. <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> we'll be done today. Yes. Fingers crossed. No, 100%. For sure. 100% of my fingers are crossed. <laughs> We got one side completed, sorta. I still got some brackets to put on, right? Yep. We ended up, what, short? I gotta make one, I gotta make four more of the L bracket, bracket. washer doohickeys. For the bottoms of these ones. Yeah. Hang over. We did not take those into account. No, we didn't think about it. So, and you can see why Here's a perfect example. This is what they look like when uh, there's not another panel on the other side to hold that washer flat. So I gotta make four more of these. And then, well, really I can make those anytime, but we only have four more panels. Left. Four more panels on the other side. Which we'll do that later today, right? Because we got lunch. We I got, lost the bet. We got some we friends coming over. Lunch, so. Oh, there was a bet? Well, I told you, well, I said we were going to have it done this morning. So apparently I lost. You said this afternoon. This is looking Four so more, cool. Though. That's not so, not so bad. This is looking so cool. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Solar power is becoming real now. You know? Yeah, it looks so way in the future when we get this these bottom rows, it's gonna look even yeah. better. Well, there she is. Time for lunch.
Have you ever seen anything like it? What's better, washing windows or washing solar panels? <laughs> uh, they're about the same, right? They're about the same. I mean, it's just glass on top, so. It's a solar panel. This is way more exciting, though. Yeah, see, that, then panels. it's better. There you go. So now that the panels are on, we want to talk about um, how the install how went. went. So, how'd it go? Was it easy? Good. Um, I wouldn't say easy, but went fairly smoothly. There was only a few choice words spoken <laughs> on his part. Sorry, I'm, I'm working on it. All right. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. It's uh, hard to come by as well. <laughs> I would say, uh, yeah, it's definitely a two-person job. Yeah. Um, Those panels are big. They're big. That's and and awkward, um, and they can be heavy, especially when the wind is blowing. And it's been breezy today. Overall, not too bad though. What yeah. it take us a day and a half to put the whole the panels? On? We've had some breaks though. I think we could have done it all in one, one day, day if we didn't have other stuff going all on. Right. Because we... yesterday we only worked on it for like four hours, and we got sixteen out of thirty put up. Right. So. And then today we had stuff going on here and there, but it's done. It is. It looks amazing. It looks awesome. Originally, we were thinking that we wouldn't put these two uh, rails in here and that the panels would just stop here and uh, they would all line up with each other. Yeah, re rectangles. On the right. Yeah. And then, but I, then I was thinking we just have this huge space and so... Uh, my creative brain started thinking, and uh, we came up with this idea, and now they, they come in. And uh, you know what's going to bug me, though? Oh, what? For the next however many years that it's like this. Until you get the bottom row in. The bottom row is just open like that, and this strut will always be exposed until that next row gets put in. And who knows one, when that'll be? Well, not one. Maybe two years, give or take from now um, when we add more. we add more down here and then probably even grow it out that way a little bit we'll see we'll see if this how well this meets our needs so yeah, yeah. I'm excited though it's super exciting it's cool to see them go from the stack to like right you know the like, stack was like that one. yeah yeah so now we just got to wire them all up. Um, we got to, so we got to run all the wire underneath here. We got to pull wire from, from here where the pipe is to the shed and wire everything up in there. Um, so it's going to be a lot of wire, wire, wire. Good thing you have some work with wires. Yeah. But we will Cheers. show we will show you that guys that in the next video. So thank you for watching. And if you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss anything. A yep. lot of action going around here. We got a lot more coming. We'll see you next time. <laughs>